Um, today I'm going to try an upside down fire. I don't know if you've heard of these, but you can look them up on the internet. Um, the idea is you put your big wood down on the bottom, then slightly smaller wood, and smaller wood and smaller wood, and then you're kindling at the top. Um, this is not ideal, probably because my second biggest wood is only slightly smaller than the first lot. But, let's see how it goes. In case you're wondering, this is actually a soldering iron with a flamethrower attachment. Most of them come with that. And it's just a simple, cheap Bunnings. Makes a good match. Alrighty, let's see how that goes and I'll come back later. Well, the upside down fire seems to be coming along. <coughs> the kindling's alight. The idea of these fires is you don't have to tend them, you just let them go and um, they burn down to a really nice hot bit of coals, which is exactly what I want for cooking tonight. Well, the upside down fire is doing really well. I've hardly had to touch it at all, apart from I just put a couple of sticks on there a few minutes ago. Um, I just noticed though that my wood, you can see it's sizzling at the end there. This wood is quite damp, sizzling away. So with that in mind, this is actually doing a fabulous job. There's sap or moisture coming out of it there too, so it's doing a really good job. I'm quite happy with that. And it's looking good. It's looking very good. And I haven't had to touch it barely at all. Awesome. So my dinner's cooking, part of it anyway. There's potato bacon, the one with the lid on, and that's a mushroom sauce that's gonna go on my steak. And, uh, yes. Yep, so it's starting to rain a bit, and that's gonna make it awkward, so that's one of the reasons I wanna hurry things along a bit. Uh, it's looking like it's on target. Data bake is looking good. Steak's on. 